Well, good morning. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox. Right before I went to Gotts, um, I put this black stuff on our on our storm shelter. And basically what it is, we bought five gallons. It comes in a metal can of foundation coating. You have to kind of pry up the lid with a, a screwdriver or something to get it open. And it is really nasty stuff. This, these gloves are about a week old and they're still kind of sticky. You want to use gloves when you do this. You want to wear really old clothes because you're going to get this black tar on you. Um, the way you apply it is with a brush. Now this brush has been laying, I'm not going to use it again. It's been laying out until I had time to make this video. Uh, you put it on with a long brush and you dip it in and then you just kind of put it on. Now you buy the brush separate from the handle. I think this handle was about $4 at Home Depot. I put it on the brush, went to make one swipe with it, and it broke. It, it's a piece of garbage. And of course, do I have the receipt to take it back? No. Um, but that's what we did on this. Uh, I painted the whole exterior. I put a, I let it dry a little bit, and I put another coat on the top. Don't know if that'll help or not. We're going to take a little break, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right. Hey, we bought this. Uh, this is my friend Kevin. He's here to help me today. We're going to do a couple videos, actually, today. Um, we bought this at Home Depot. It's drain tubing. It has this net over top of it to keep the dirt from going into the holes. It comes in a 100-foot roll. By my calculations, we're going to need less than 30 feet. But I have other projects around here um, that we're going to have to use it for, so the extra will be good. And so we're going to lay this around uh, the base of the shelter, and we'll come back to you. All right, so just hold that. Um, let's have it stick out about two feet, I guess. So just down on the ground. And then I've got to give more, I realize that part. Come down. Can you pull it out more? Because see what I think, I can always cut off the excess, right? But I want it to drain that way. That's probably good. Let's see, what do you think? I think that's good, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm new at this, but you know what? You can learn and, and teach yourself by doing things too. I could stand here and pretend that, you know, I'm the uber survivalist who has this all figured out. I'm pretty much a regular guy. You're a regular guy or gal. Uh, you can do this stuff. So. Someone will undoubtedly send me a comment telling me how I'm doing it wrong. That's okay. All right. this part out of the film. It's not I just made. There we go. Alright. We might have to do some digging on this one corner. You know what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this about right here. And we're going to put gravel over top of this later. I don't have the gravel delivered yet. All right, cut through here. Good. Can you just move this mess out of the way? Thanks, sir. Will that fit down there? Oh, yeah, you can push that down there, right? Well, get down to the bottom, or do I need to dig a little? I'm going to have to dig a little. 
able to see that. I'll come so around. I'll be able to force it down. You can come look at that part if you can't see it from up there. I'll get a shovel in case we have to dig. that up just the skosh. Wow that's like solid clay. Just shaving off the sides here a little bit. All right, let's see what we got. All right, that's it for today. All right, it wasn't our plan to actually put this tubing in today, but it's fixing to rain, thunderstorm, and I wanted to have it at least down there before all this dirt started washing in on top of it. Our plan is to put about this much gravel on top of the, the tube and then we'll backfill with some clay and some dirt above that. But that's our update on the shelter, so thanks a lot and I'll see you out there.